CapeCast. Anybody need a shave? Perhaps from a 400-year-old razor that was likely used by Miles Standish. You know, the military leader hired by the Pilgrims, who is one of the most recognizable figures to come over on the Mayflower. Cape Cass had a chance to head up to the Pilgrim Hall Museum on Court Street in Plymouth to check out this super neat and rare razor to learn more about its history. My name is Stephen O'Neill. I'm the Associate Director and Curator of Collections here at Pilgrim Hall Museum in Plymouth, Massachusetts. We are the oldest museum in the country, opened since 1824. The object I'm holding here is a razor. It is dated to 1612. There's a small date stamped in the steel. It comes from probably Toledo in Spain, which was a center of steel manufacturing. The blade is steel, sharpened right over here, just like a, a typical straight edge razor. The handle is made from horn uh, with a little brass tip on the end. And the blade fits right inside. And this has a history of ownership uh, attributed to Miles Standish, the military captain of Plymouth Colony who came over on the Mayflower in 1620. And this little razor was found at the site of his home over in Duxbury, where he had moved after he left Plymouth around 1632 or so. Most of the men in 17th century England were fairly clean shaven. Uh, they would have um, some facial hair in the form of a Van Dyke beard or just a small mustache. Standish would obviously use it just like you would a modern razor. Uh, you get some soap, uh, you create a lather, heat your cheeks up, heat your face up with some warm water, apply the lather, and then just gently stroke down. The technique has really not changed for centuries, and many uh, straight edge razors that you can purchase today are basically the same format and construction as this razor from the early 17th century. It's still fairly sharp. This is one of the more unique pieces. It is a, uh, a personal item. Not many personal items have survived through the centuries. For a simple utilitarian piece that was, you know, something used for hygiene, it's extraordinarily rare uh, as a survivor from that period.